This might be the new rarest item in the game. At 70,000 subscribers, I will do a cooking stream. So if you want to see that, subscribe. My definition of rarity in this context is not just the actual drop chance of the item. My definition of rarity in this context is actually how long it would take you to grind for this item. If that doesn't make sense to you, think about it in the context of an EXP share core versus a Necron's handle. An EXP share core has a drop chance of 0.01%, while a Necron's handle has a drop chance of 0.09%. Technically, the Necron's handle is more common, but obviously this is not really the case considering you can kill a bunch of Lapis zombies in like 5 seconds while it takes a few minutes to do a 4-7 run. So now that we got that out of the way, what are these potential candidates for the rarest item in the game? So these items are dyes. You might have not noticed it with all the hype around the M7 update, but around the same time, the admins actually also added a bunch of different dyes into the game. A lot of people, especially exotic collectors, were really scared of this update because they thought it would incredibly devalue a lot of their exotics. But to be honest, the rarity of some of these dyes is so crazy that these might even become rarer than the exotics themselves. Okay, maybe I did exaggerate it a little bit, but these dyes are so rare. Like, people were really mad when they found out that the white and black dye are actually 250k bits from the bit shop, but compared to some of these, those are actually really easy to get. So now, let me do a brief overview of every dye that was added. There's the Carmine Red dye, the Necron dye, the Flame dye, the Mango dye, the Pure Yellow dye, the Nyanza dye, the Celadon dye, the Emerald dye, the Aquamarine dye, the Celeste dye, the Iceberg dye, the Livid dye, the Pure Blue dye, the Dark Purple dye, the Midnight dye, the Byzantium dye, the Cyclamin dye, the Nate Chico dye, the Wild Strawberry dye, the Brick Red dye, the Pure Black dye, the Pure White dye, and finally, the bone die. So in order to find the rarest one of these, we have to start crossing some off the list. The easiest ones to cross off are the ones that are legitimately not obtainable because we just can't consider them right now. So that is the pure yellow, the livid, the pure blue, the pure black, and the pure white. Now it's a little more difficult to start eliminating dyes because all of them use some very weird way to get them, like killing sneaky creepers and killing stuff that almost no one ever kills. So now to go through these, I'm actually gonna go and grind for like a minute straight of each of these different dyes and compare them to see how long on average it would take to get every die. So conveniently, there are 10 dyes left that have not been eliminated. So after doing all these tests, I'm gonna basically be ranking these from the least rare to the rarest. So the least rare die out of this 10 is the flame die. The flame die is dropped from blaze mobs at a 1 in 1 million chance. I calculated it to be about 725 hours of non-stop grinding to get this die. Next is the Nyanza die. It is dropped from sneaky creepers in the deep caverns. And I calculated for it to take about 5,556 hours of non-stop grind. You're probably going to begin to notice that these items aren't really feasible to grind for. Next is the Aquamarine die. It is basically dropped from just any fishing that you do anywhere at a 1 in 15 million chance. Based on my setup, I calculated it to take about 19,000 230 hours of straight grinding. It might be affected by secret to chance, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter considering what is at number one. The next is the Celeste die, which is a 1 in 100 million drop from just any wolves. I calculated it to be about 30,303 hours of straight grinding. Next is a Cyclamin die, which is dropped at a 1 in 100 million drop chance from Mushroom Cows. 
I calculated it to be about 64,102 hours of straight grinding for it. And now we're in the top 3 probably rarest items in the game. So the first one is going to be the Carmine Red Dye. The Carmine Red Dye requires you to fish up lava sea creatures and it's dropped at a 1 in 20 million chance from them. I calculated it to be about 83,300 of hours grinded to get this die. Now for the second rarest item in the game, it is the Iceberg die. The Iceberg die has a 1 in 10 million chance to drop from the Winter Island. So technically, it is not as rare as some of the dies before it, but the reason I said it's almost the second rarest item is because the Jerry Island is only open to the public for about 10 hours every 5 days. So that means for any of the other fishing dies, you could grind those at any other time. You have about 12 times less time to grind for the iceberg die compared to any other die. So I actually multiplied the time it would take by 12 which would give you about 153,840 hours. And now for the rarest item in the game, which I would say is a Celadon die. So the Celadon die is a die dropped from sludges, and it has a 1 in 20 million chance of dropping from the large sludges, and a 1 in 1 billion chance from dropping in the medium and small sludges. Obviously, a lot of this depends on how you grind, but I calculated it to be about 166 thousand hours of grinding just from large sludges and another 1 million hours of grinding for the small sludges. I really don't know how to add up these amounts of time or subtract them but I'm pretty sure from the case that it takes 166,000 hours which is already larger than the iceberg die I would probably say that it's definitely the rarest item in the game. To be clear like I said earlier Basically none of these dies I've been talking about have ever been dropped in the game. If I ever get a video or someone reaches out to me of them actually dropping it, I'll totally make a video on it. But as of now, I've not heard of a single person who's dropped the die. Well, actually if I'm being completely transparent, someone did actually reach out to me about dropping the iceberg die. If you watched all the stuff I just said, you would understand why I was completely flabbergasted from this information. Because this is such an incredibly rare item, I didn't think anyone could get it this quickly. But to be honest, I am pretty sure that this guy faked the entire thing. So I first got the news that this guy got it from him DMing me a screenshot that he had got the drop. It looked pretty convincing, so I kept messaging him and I asked him if he could show me the item in his inventory or just turn on his API. When I told him this, he started making excuses and asked me if I could just use a screenshot as proof. Obviously, I couldn't do that because he could easily fake it and he ended up having the excuse that he can't turn his API on for the next two to three days. So I just ended up saying, okay, I'll just wait for those next two to three days and then when you can turn your API on and show me, then I'll make a video on it. Literally the next day, he said that his account got hacked, which is pretty convenient considering the fact that he had to wait two to three days to show me the item and now he has the reason for why he wouldn't have the item anymore. After this, I basically confirmed that he was faking it, but I even looked back at the screenshot and noticed that in the great catch text, it was actually not bolded like it is for when you catch something like a squid pet. So that actually gave me some extra proof that he actually faked this. I also even asked in nerds if anyone believed this was real and even Pencil said that he thinks it's Cap. To be honest, it's possible that I'm wrong and he's telling the truth but most likely we'll just never find out. And that's all I got for today's video. See ya.